What is up my fellow YouTuber and welcome to another video. Before I jump into this video, I just wanted to thank you guys for supporting my channel. If you are new to this channel and like the content, don't forget to subscribe. All right, lay back and hear me out. I think Call of Duty is dying at the moment, like literally dying. The sales are dropping at this moment of time by 50% more than it used to be back uh, last year with Black Ops 3, which is kind of outrageous for this franchise. I mean, the game is awesome, let's, let's, be, let's be honest, and that's because I stopped playing Black Ops 3 after a few months, because it was the same as Advanced Warfare, but with more bullshit, uh, like supply drops. I mean, this supply drop will literally ruin the franchise, uh, where you can buy guns with money, by, by buying cut points which you can open the supply drops and stuff at this moment i have been playing this game like for a month month and a half and i'm, I'm already bored with this game i mean it's literally the same game as advanced warfare and black ops 3 the jumping the sliding the bunny hops the wall running i mean it is amazing but not for three fucking years in a row i mean i've enjoyed it with advanced warfare for a few months uh, or Black Ops 3, but not three years in a row. And MWR wouldn't make this shit up, to be honest. I mean, it's just for the fans for some reminiscing. Because the fans nowadays didn't even really know what MW was back then. I mean, Call of Duty is, I think, way too arrogant and tend to follow their own path without any consideration of the million of million fans around the world. Which I think could be a smart move or a dumb. In this case, I think it's quite a dumb move. Now, what will safeguard, in my opinion, will simply listen to their goddamn fan base, uh, where there's a fucking demand for simple boots on the fucking ground. I mean, come on, no fucking supply drops or or or, or bunny hops or war running like Matrix uh, taunts like it's a fucking yo mama contest. I mean, just a simple old school shooting games with an AK and no KM44 or a Volk or whatever the guns these days called. I mean. Activision is like we go our own path and the fan base just just they don't, they don't even care about us I don't know who developed these games last years or who authorized these items I think we will never find out but it's not the smartest move I've ever witnessed with this franchise and the funny thing is they are introducing right now a boots on the ground team team uh, game uh, pardon me on IW which is kind of crazy right it's like we're kind of sorry for not developing this earlier but here is a mode which you, which you guys look forward to next year because because next year obviously sledgehammers will develop the next game i mean they started with jumping and stuff uh, which was fun back then to be honest with uh, advanced warfare for a few months but doing the same thing for three years in a row is a new thing for cod i mean let's let's face it cod mw the first game was a modern game after that it was World at War, which it was a World War, II, World War II. And not many people liked the game, but I mean there was there was a difference between the games. After that there was Modern Warfare 2, which was a modern game as well. So it, it was it was different to the World at War game. After that there was Black Ops, which was Vietnam. I love the game by the way. And after that there was MW3, which was a modern game as well. And then Treyarch came with Black Ops 3 which I guess was kind of more modern, I think. Uh, after that, there was Ghost, it was back modern, I guess. And then we went to... All the way up! No, I mean all the way down. Since Sledgehammer developed MW3 and Advanced Warfare, both games were awesome and featured a lot of new things compared to the previous games. Hence, I think the next cut will either be MW4 or a Cold War kind of based game since sledgehammers were working on a cold war but unfortunately uh, for sledgehammers the entire fallout at the uh, infinity war back then made them they stopped working on the game instead they helped finish uh, modern warfare 3 so i really hope uh, for 2017 they will bring out a modern warfare 4 with just the normal guns the ak-47 the m16 the m4a1 and you name it, the Claymore, just a normal thing, just a, just a, just a game based on MW2, MW3, 
and without the, without the fucking new tubers or the things that, that ruin those games, uh, and just make a game which which I will love, which I will grind like I grind MW through or two or three. I mean, on those games I played like 35, 40, 45 days, and then the last three or four card games, I don't think I played like 10 or 12, or 13 days, uh, which all with all the cards uh, together. So I really hope COD is not dying at the moment and they are trying to save this game next year with MW4 or a new Cold War based game. Well, let's find out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and let down the comment section below know which Call of Duty you guys hope to play next year. Alright, peace out guys.